walking dead. I hope y'all are not taking this as a joke. A lot of people are walking dead. Even when you alive, you dead. So if you live a day-to-day life not really living the life you really supposed to live, then you technically dead. If you're a person that walk through this world and tell yourself, man, I want to do what them other people is doing, and you not doing the things that you really want to do, as in living the life that you really want to live, then you technically walking dead. And you know why some people become ghosts? I finally realized what ghost is. Ghosts are the regular niggas that was walking dead on this earth. They didn't complete their life thing. So they just come back here crying all the time. Because they didn't never get to fully live. So they just stuck here crybabies for eternity. Depressed ass niggas want to sit in the kitchen all day and bother the cans and cabinets and shit. Like, my nigga, you a whole spirit. You could fly around the world, but yeah, you would have come to my house and knock over a can at 3 in the morning. That that ain't depression. I don't know what it is, bro. Look, bro. Hey, where the runs at, bro? I'll pull up. Oh, yeah, that is tonight. We in there. I just thought tonight is Wednesday. But going back to what I was saying, right? If you don't fulfill your purpose in life, if you don't fulfill if you don't fulfill your purpose in life, man, you're gonna be stuck a ghost. And I don't think you wanna be that, man. If you don't fulfill your purpose in life, man, I think you're gonna be stuck here a ghost. I notice, like, when you fulfill, can you imagine being 85 years old on your deathbed and telling yourself, yeah, y'all can pull the plug. I'm a, how many people have you ever, have you ever demanded, hey, man, I'm 83 years old, man. I done did everything I need to do. Pull the plug. How many people you know do that? Most of the people that be trying to hold on to life. They trying to hold on because they feel like they didn't do enough. They trying to hold on to life because they feel like they didn't do enough. So they like, don't plug that plug because his life ain't over yet. He need a little more time. No, man, when you lived your life already, you did the things that you really want to do. It's okay to go. And that's what I mean by living and dying and dying and living. To all of y'all that's watching, try to live your life and live your life and do the things that make you happy. Because when you start living vicariously through other people, trying to live their success and create your own depression and live their success and other internet shit, man, you niggas gonna be sad and depressed forever. We all get 100 years, 110 years max if you eat healthy. Some niggas get 70 years due to genetic diseases that's passed down. Ain't got nothing to do with you. But look, if you have like heart diseases and shit that was passed down to you that you ain't your fault, you die early. Okay, that's on, that's that's genetic. But on the flip side, most people get a certain amount of time in life. So you got 100 years. I'm going to just put it 100 years. You got a hundred years to do something that you could tell yourself, I'm happy for doing it. Because if you don't, you're going to end up a depressed ghost back in the infinity loop. Crying in somebody's kitchen, knocking over cans. And I don't think you want to spend the rest of your ghost years 
knocking over cans in the nigga kitchen. That ain't the way to go out. I remember when I was younger, I used to be afraid of ghosts. I used to be like, oh, man, like, I don't, I don't want to see no ghosts. And then when I got older, I started to see certain things in the kitchen. And, I, I you know, I hit the kitchen late night and, and and I hear some rattling in the closet. And I just be like, well, you, more, than, more than likely, it's a... Uh, early. I used to, I used to, I used to go in the kitchen, look, I used to go in the kitchen and I hear some rattling in the cabinet. When I was little, I thought it was ghosts, but you know, a nigga tried to just act like we ain't have rats and roaches, but I, you know, everybody who got rats and roaches always try to lie like they don't got them. You just try to trick yourself mentally like you ain't struggling. That's just a part of the hood. But um, on the most, on the flip side, right? On the flip side, when I got older, when I knew that I didn't have no rats and roaches and I knew my house was clean and I still heard things in the cabinet, then that's when I had to tell myself there's a ghost in there. So what I used to tell myself, hey, little ghost, man, come on out of there, man. I, I feel your pain, G. And instead of me getting scared and running upstairs, I would just actually make a cup of coffee or something. I'll sit down in the kitchen and I'll talk. I talk. I talk to whoever's in there, whatever spirit in there. I talk to them. Hey, man, I know what you're going through, man. You, you didn't get to complete your life cycle, so now you stuck here in the cabinet. You probably used to live here before me, so you kind of just stuck in the cabinet. I know what you're going through. Come on, dog. You want some coffee, my nigga? You want some? Man, you need a hug, G. Like I'm here for you. And you know that's the thing. Like man, them 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 ghosts, man. Them niggas depressed. Cause if you notice, ghosts they don't never hit nobody. They don't never, they don't never like harm you. You don't never see a ghost harming nobody. You never seen a ghost just strangling somebody out on the ground. Never. Nigga, they just fly fast so you can't see them. You just feel the wind go by. Oh, man, what the fuck was that? Man, it might be a ghost in here. I'm leaving. Or you might hear something rattling in the cabinet. Or you might hear something fall down, but you don't. They don't never fully like hurt you. That's because they sad, man. They just in there sad. They sad, man. Anywho, I'm gonna call y'all back, man. I got some business.